Brothers, welcome back. Well, listen, we gotta talk. I mean, is there any other way to put it other than we have to talk? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty damn testy. I mean, there's some testosterone brewing in these macadamias down here. So let me tell you, uh, intrusive thoughts. Every young man may stumble upon intrusive thoughts in his life. Where his mind feels like it's racing, he can't focus in on the good. Maybe he's ruminating on the bad, call it anxiety. Maybe you're thinking just nasty, sexual, perverse thoughts that don't seem like you. The good news is they're not you. Maybe murderous, maybe degenerate, maybe violent, maybe angry, maybe sad thoughts. Maybe just daydreaming all the time. You just catch yourself daydreaming. Whatever it be, thoughts are thoughts. They're not real. So doubt every thought. Because your thoughts are like in the clouds. You look up at the clouds. You can do that right now. Look up at the clouds. Oh, look, a cloud. Wow. Where is that cloud in a few seconds? It's moving. Okay? Imagine yourself looking down on a lifeguard pillar, tower, whatever, and you see the freaking clouds just down there moving. They're not you, dude. They come in and they come out. So never think that you are one of these clouds because you're not a cloud. You're a man. But it can be pretty tricky to deal with these intrusive thoughts. What I have began to realize is that often intrusive thoughts come around when your focus has been tainted and when you allow yourself to participate in activities that make your mind scattered and shuffled. One of the biggest ways to start to have intrusive thoughts is to subject yourself to complete degeneracy and not only that, but randomness. This is probably the most uh, competent way to allow intrusive thoughts into your brain. Doom scrolling. Social media, uh, countless, you know, noise. You know, no one wants to admit it, dude. No one wants to admit it, but the violence of noise and this constant freaking just bzz, 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 constant pumping of noise and frequencies into the brain. Like, I cannot be the only one. I have a distrust for music for media, for movies, for shows, for all this BS. You know why? It's not because I'm schizomaxing. It's because there is clearly, I'm not in charge of this, but I know who is in charge of it. There's a lot of super wealthy people that are in charge of all of the stuff that you consume. And I don't believe that they have my best interest in mind. So I have a healthy mistrust. I always have since I was a kid. I would look at something. Maybe it came from I were growing up in Sunday school. You know, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. You see too much perverseness. It changes the inner workings of your mind, dude. If you see too much bad, you fail to see and recognize the good. So you're filled with anxiety, you're filled with fear, you have music pumping the emotions, just this cycle, just freaking amp, you know, keep going. If you suffer with intrusive thoughts, you have to take a step back. In the High Thumos Brotherhood, I started an anti-brain rot campaign. And it simply consisted of deleting social media, deleting dating apps, stop watching prawn, what was the other ones? Uh, I didn't even say limit music, but now that I'm thinking about it, limit the freaking music, man. You, there's no need for music all the time. It is a drug, the most widely accepted drug that is there on earth. You can't enter a grocery store or a gas, pump your damn gas or go, you know, go anywhere. And there's, there's always music, a restaurant everywhere. The gym, your headphones, it's everywhere. Anti-brain rock campaign jump roping, reading uh, in the morning, reading 10 pages a day, beginning to reclaim this 
control over our lives. I believe that for any man, but especially a young man, okay, it is paramount that you reclaim your center, that you reclaim your mind. You have to become, like James Allen said, you have to become the master, master gardener of your mind. Because nowadays there's a lot of weeds that are popping up. And if no gardener is there to maintain control, they're going to overrun the garden. If a man wants to do great things in life, he has to first believe that he can do great things. I think that was Michael Jordan who said that. If someone wants to be great, first you have to believe that you can be great at something. He believed that he could be the best at basketball. All right? And I'll, I think what happens is we forget to believe. We forget to see because we see so much BS. We hear so much BS. We forget who we are and what we're about and what we actually want. And you may not think this is a big deal, dude, but it is. And I've heard from the guys in the group that upon starting this campaign, upon deleting the shorts and deleting Instagram and the dating apps and now watching Prawn and now listening to so much music and becoming spiritually fit, but also mentally fit and physically fit and focusing on better things other than just BS, like maybe listening to you know, some CEOs that run companies, listening to their podcast instead of freaking Andrew Huberman for the hundredth time telling you to wash your hands between sets to get cold, to increase hypertrophy by 75% and make sure you sleep because we all know we got to fucking sleep. How many more times do you need to be told you need to sleep good, dude? Like m maybe not listening to Joe Rogan and Jocko Wilnick and, and uh, freaking David Goggins, you, you know, stay hard, man, stay hard. Who's going to carry the boats? No one, dude. There ain't no freaking boats. There ain't no freaking boats when you're poor. You can't even afford a boat. You can't even afford a, your damn uh, car. So everyone's worried and focused on the wrong thing. Listen to so much noise, addicted to noise. When really there's guys at the top, good men, that want to help you, but no one's listening. You can check these damn podcasts, man. These top investors telling you how they think, how they evaluate a company. These get like hundreds of views. <laughs> like hundreds of views. No one's listening to them. These guys are worth millions. CEOs that are running companies that, that actually go on and, and give a talk, tell you what the, the environment, the, the world is looking like. No one's listening to them. No one's like, Learn self-defense, learn how to protect your loved ones, the people in your life. Everyone's so focused on self. They don't think about protecting the people they love, furthering, making investments for the future, planting a seed now so you know the future generations have a tree to sit under, have fruit to pick from. So, again, these guys in the group, they've told me, man, I started doing this, and it's exactly what I needed. My brain feels, I feel more human, and that's what we really try to get at. We need to feel more human. Reclaim that humanity and that center of mind, that core. You know, this. if you've ever felt thrown off, and you ever wanted to maybe dye your hair and get a bunch of tattoos for no damn reason, if you ever wanted to do something completely stupid, and if you have a bunch of anger and resentment and fear, it's because you're not you. You're not really you. You don't actually know who you are. So if you want to know who you are, well, then you have to have a core because you have to get to know that core. What is at the center? But the more that you feed yourself content, the more that you consume nonsense, the more nonsense you're going to feel. And it's really that simple, man. It's really that simple. So again, I think that this, we're going to name it righteous living. Now, I don't mean righteous in the sense of moral superiority over other peoples that are not living the way that you are. Righteous living is a way of living that is aligned with, with getting to know yourself and who you want to be 
and the things you care about and the people you care about and then aligning your life to not constantly be sidetracked, but being in alignment with who you are, with what, feel right, with what feels right. Righteous living will greatly enhance your life. Righteous living. Not allowing yourself to be a degenerate, to do all the dumb stuff, to be prudent, to be not, not a goody, goody two shoes, but to be, to be awake, man, to be awake, to be here, to be able to see, to be righteous, to be a man, you know, to be happy with who you're becoming, to feel strong, this strength internally, this focus, this Dumos, man, this Dumos, this spiritedness, this this goodness that emanates from you, that can, you know, shake up things, that can impact other people. That's what you need, the centeredness. You got to become the master and gardener of your soul, all right? Reclaim that centeredness. Reclaim that focus. That's where we're going to start. Come talk with us in the group. I've deleted the Instagram. You can't really reach me on there. I check it once every three weeks to see if there's any... DMs. You want to talk with me and not only me, but some cool ass dudes. Get in the High Dumos Brotherhood. Try it out. See if you like it. See if it's going to be valuable to your life. I think you'll be surprised. All right. So that's it. We're going to get going. Have a splendid High Dumos weekend. I'll talk to you soon, brothers. Peace.